Need some coins for the God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Make sure you check out the solo grinding service as well. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video. Now today, we're going to be opening up my ultimate solo battle rewards, but there's something weird going on. Now we also knew solo battles would go over, but take a look at this pack. Now, this pack just showed up and apparently everybody gets this pack. I don't know what's in it. I don't know why I got this pack. I think everybody got it. Uh, according to Twitter, though, I guess it's an 80 overall Odo Beckham Jr., so we're going to go ahead and open this and find out. Uh, but we have an Elite Giveaway Pack, and I'm honestly not sure why everyone's getting this 80 OBJ. Okay, so... Why? <laughs> so, let's take a look at the bag. This card is not auctionable tradable, and it cannot be put into sets. It can be quick sold for 10 training. Okay, um, something's up with this card. Now, this is kind of random. I don't know why EA would just randomly give us an 80 overall Odo Beckham Jr. For some reason, I have a feeling this has to do with the new promo coming out. I don't know why, but I just feel like this has something to do with it. It's just kind of weird for them to just randomly give us this elite giveaway pack, unless maybe they're just starting to give out free elites like every week or something. But we have an elite giveaway pack, and you guys get a free AD overall OBJ. So I honestly don't know why, but if you guys have any speculation as to why EA is giving out that OBJ, or maybe they're just starting giving out players weekly, let me know down below, because I'm kind of curious. But for the solo battles today, we also have the best of Series 1, which is going to be for the featured opponent, and this team is freaking good. Uh, take a look here, you guys can see we have at QB Drew Brees, we have Todd Gurley, Zeke, Adrian Peterson, we also have Antonio Brown, Adam Thielen, Ted Ginn, Demonte Adams. The team is pretty freaking stacked. Uh, defensively, you got Lawrence Taylor, Demarcus Ware, Keekly, Danny Trevathan, or Trevathan, Mark Barron, Lamarcus Joyner, Casey Hayward. It's definitely a tough team to play against. You also have flashback Cam Chancellor, strong safety. Now keep in mind though, this is not going to be a day one. You have three days, basically, to complete these solos. So at least we have that this time. And then we have a 74 overall, 72, 82, and, of course, an 88 overall. That's not even going to be the featured opponent. Here's this guy's team, and uh, it's pretty good. I'd imagine the defense probably better. Um, it's pretty good. He doesn't really have any full legends except for uh, Ted Hendricks. And then offensively, did he have any full legends? I don't think that he did. No. So it's basically just a bunch of power-ups. That's like 88, 89 overall. So it's a pretty good team to face off against. Then we have a 72 overall in some pretty trash teams. But uh, I do believe, guys, I'm going to say this right now, that we should be getting the most here promo pretty soon. I'm going to put out a video. I might make a video later today letting you guys know how I think you should prepare for the most fear promo. Uh, and also, I feel like we were probably going to be getting Deion Sanders very, very soon. Now, if you guys watch the EA Madden NFL live stream live stream on twitch uh yesterday so it'll be yesterday morning so thursday morning mud guru was actually wearing a shirt i believe that had a primetime Deion sanders like uh quote on it so that's very possible that we could possibly see a Deion sanders he also said something about marcus peters haunting your pack so could we see a most feared extremely soon i definitely believe so and i might go over a couple players i expect to get a most feared in this video for you guys so maybe you could take a little preparation for that and maybe pick up a couple of guys but let's get into the red zone and also the touchdown pack of course we're not going to take the coins we're going to take it back as always and if you guys are curious i'm going to show you my progress on the team diamonds because guys i'm extremely close to my coins are way lower now uh they're down at 1.5 i had one point in 1.8 yesterday uh but i did spend a pretty penny basically doing a lot of the team diamond sets and i'm super close to finishing a lot of them as we have basically nothing out of the red zone pack and onto the touchdown pack we're take we're of course going to take the pack which i wish i could take the coins but it's for you guys i'm going to take the pack so let's get into this and we get first off 81 logan ryan second we get is 
82 Ken to 4, and we're going to end it off with a 81 Andre Hall. All right, Ken to Fuller. <laughs> so, the touchdown pack was absolutely buns. With that being said, though, uh, guys, I definitely expect us to be getting the most free promo extremely soon. Now, as soon as I got that Elite Giveaway Pack, I decided to look around a little bit. I looked over here in the Daily Objectives. I couldn't find any sort of new uh, objectives for today. I looked in the Solo Challenges, couldn't find any new Solo Challenges for today either. So there's no, like, most fear promo out today. There's no Mud Heroes, no nothing. And then I decided to check the packs well. And taking a look at the packs, none of them even have a timer on them. So... You, you really can't suspect that anything's going to be coming out very soon at all because there's no timers on anything. And also, people really want the, the most fear promo, but it's September 28th, and the most fear promo usually doesn't come out to about two weeks before. So we might be waiting quite a bit for the most fear promo, and I gotta say that. But in terms of who I think could get a card, and I think this is actually really important, I think you should really take a look at this. If you look at the level 40 or 52, I believe, Defensive positional fantasy pack. The two players on the cover of this pack are Khalil Mack and Patrick Peterson. I highly believe that both of these guys will get a most fear card. One, because Khalil Mack obviously is one of the most fear players in the NFL. Secondly, the man is going ham. His stats are insane. He should have had a team league like three weeks in a row, to be honest. So he should definitely get a most fear card. Patrick Peterson, as well, usually gets a most fear. So what I would suggest you guys do is I actually have a base elite Khalil Mack minor minor because I pulled it, <laughs> but you guys could definitely go ahead and maybe pick up the base elite Khalil Mack. Maybe his price does shoot up. Uh, if you don't want to take the the risk on buying the 89 or 88 overall Khalil Mack, you can definitely just go ahead and buy his power up because I think we could see possibly a... Um, a Patrick Mahomes effect with the most fear promo. So, I think if we get a, as obviously people really expect this guy to get a new card, he is 22,000 coins right now. I don't know why he's 22k, but Khalil Mack is going for a ton. Obviously, people think that he is going to get a power up, and I would say if he does end up getting a new most feared card, Khalil Mack is going to be so dang expensive, it's going to be ridiculous. The power up card, the base elite, and then of course, you're going to have the Khalil Mack uh, most fear card, which who even knows if it's going to be a defensive end or if it's going to be an outside linebacker because of the fact that the Bears do actually play him, I believe, an outside linebacker now. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see exactly what he wants to do with that. Also, the Cardinals, you take a look at Patrick Peterson's power up card, and I think that's going for probably like 10K as well. So people really expect that he's going for 6,000 coins. And that's kind of a budget buy right there, or not really a budget buy, but kind of a snipe. So I'm going to buy the 6,000 coins because the next one up is 8,500, and I really feel like Patrick Peterson's going to get it. Now, I have three power of Pat Pete's. Uh, I believe I have two power of Khalil Max minor minor. So you guys can definitely take a look at some players you can expect to get some power ups for the most for your promo, maybe pick them up. Uh, I was really hoping to get, to be honest, a Marshawn Lynch, and then they dropped the primetime performer yesterday, which I don't really understand why they would do that and give us that card this soon. I feel like he would have made a great uh, most feared card. And then also Des Bryant, but I don't think they can give it to Des because he isn't a, a free agent. So it doesn't have a team in order for them to give him one. But uh, if we take a look at this 80 overall OBJ one other time, guys, I just don't understand exactly why we're getting this card. But if you guys have any speculations as to why, please let me know down below. The card art on the card, from to me, it kind of looks a little bit... I don't want to say it looks like most feared, because maybe it's not. But to me, it almost kind of looks like the uh, like the tint is kind of hinting towards most feared. For me, personally, that's what I think it means. Or maybe they're just deciding to give out free elite players every single week, which I definitely do not mind. I might just quick sell this card for 10 training because you can't upgrade him at all. You can only put a chemistry slot on him, and obviously that's not going to make my team. Uh, even Calvin Ridley, in my opinion, with 9 more speed, would probably make my team over this OBJ. That being said, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. We get a new Elite giveaway pack in the game. Not too sure exactly why we all got it. 
uh, the new solo battles most feared should be coming out pretty soon hopefully in a week or two and then also Dion Sanders I expect to be the legend this weekend or I should say one of the legends coming out this weekend as well and my ultimate solo battle rewards per usual <laughs> not the greatest hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time